She's an award-winning uh, film director releasing her second feature film, The Burglar. We are very happy to have Hagar Ben Asher here with us. Good morning, Julia Roberts. <laughs> you look like Julia Roberts. I'm sure you hear this a lot. <laughs> but okay, but this begs the question. Here you have all of this beauty and you're choosing a life behind the scenes in film instead of trying to be uh, you know, Julia Roberts. What, where did your interest in uh, directing start? Um, actually, I think I went to study um, just um, stills photography and after one semester I realized that I want to uh, take this one frame and make it uh, 24 for, <laughs> per second and not just one. Uh, <laughs> and I realized it's much more interesting and I started writing and you know one Was thing it hard together. for you being a woman at the time when you started? You know, is it hard to enter into you know, the film business being a woman in Israel? For me, it was not, and uh, my first films were very uh, uh, were regarding the the femininity issues, etc. And I think those are films that only a woman could have done, 100%. which uh, made it actually perhaps even easier for me to to enter. And the I world. imagine now, with everything going on in the entertainment industry, you feel like this is. I mean, at least I know we agree. It's like opening, you know, opening a whole new world for for women artists now, which we need more and more of. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Carmeet being an actress as well. I mean, do you feel that? Do you feel that way? Do you feel a change happening? Even though you're here, you've you know you've had projects at Cannes, and you've you know you've really made a name for yourself outside of Israel. Um, I think that it's it's expanding every day more and more, uh, and uh, and. In Israel, in particular, there are um, almost third of the films made a year are made by female directors. Wow, that's amazing to know. Did yes. you know that? Yes, Israelis yeah. are very much for the. We female. punch above our weight, as they yeah. say. Yeah. All right, now let's talk specifically uh, about your movie, The Burglar. I want to first okay. look at a trailer and then uh, and then tell us more. Okay. I'm an earthquake specialist. I'm researching the activity of subfractures. Uh, how old are you? 3 years old in earthquake? Yes. And you? Yes. How did you tame that cheetah? That is that is not a that is not a uh, chroma keyed cheetah, correct? No, it's not. It's a live. <laughs> how did cheetah. you how many takes to get this cheetah to cooperate? No, she's 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 probably one of the um, best well-trained actors <laughs> I've ever met in my life. Uh, <laughs> except of that you know, slight bad temper. <laughs> you just have to kind of, exactly. So, okay, the, the, the premise is, you know, very deep, very profound, a woman who leaves her teenage daughter left to kind of fend for herself. What was the inspiration for this movie in particular based on, you know, a, a true story from mm -hmm. like anyone that you knew or just something that creatively came to you? I think that the film started actually with uh, uh, my, uh, my uh, curiosity regarding uh, theft and why do people steal and if they steal because they need practical things for their lives or do they need to fill a, a psychological hole or a need mm -hmm. uh, or an emotional gap they have in their lives and it actually started from uh, how can I tell a story of a girl that is led into being a, a thief and is led into being a, a burglar and how that uh, constructs your personality. How that emotional and like psychological yeah. process yeah. can affect you and what do you hope the uh, take home message will be you know in the end that people will uh think after, you know, as far as what, what we can learn? Um, I, I think it's more than anything a story about um, a girl and her need for family and her need for friendship and for love and for uh, a mother. And I would hope that everybody goes home and hugs their kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hello, that's the best. And then also you have a project uh, going on in the States, which is amazing. Yeah. You're, uh, you're editing a series with yeah. very well-regarded and award-winning uh, actors. Yeah. What has that been like for you? Um, oh, it's been actually very, very interesting uh, <laughs> to fly 
uh, 16 hours to LA and uh, to work there for a while. It was great. I really hope I would. Um, I, I'm hoping to do more. To do more. American you like it? But do you miss Israel when you're in LA? I miss my my. I miss the people I love. Yeah. Um, and Israel, you know, it's always a conflict. It's, yeah, exactly. Well, anyway, best of luck. This is great. Thank and I know karmit has got some interesting uh, stories yes. today. Hello, darling. Hello, Thank you for sharing the, uh, the bima. Of course. Okay, Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. I love this yeah. story. We've got like two huge art stories.